We talked about this before, about how Jesus says to love your neighbor as yourself. Well, how do you love your neighbor? How do you bless your neighbor? And maybe you remember these letters here. First of all, the B, begin with prayer. Pray that God would either bring someone in your life that you can share the gospel with, or pray for someone that already is in your life that you would have the courage to share your faith with them. And that God, pray that God would open their heart and prepare their heart for that conversation. And then when you're having this conversation, before you just dump all everything on them, you listen carefully to their story. One time there was a pastor who went to a Starbucks and he put out a sign and says, I'll buy your coffee if you listen to my story. Nobody took him up on it. He then took the sign down and wrote on the other side, I'll buy your coffee if you let me listen to your story. And then he flipped it back up and there was a line of people waiting to tell their story. People want to be heard. And then after you listen to them, you show you truly care and are concerned, then usually they'll reciprocate and let them tell you, let you tell them their story. And then third thing, the E in bless is to eat together. Share a meal. Get together with someone. Take them to breakfast. Take them to Waffle House. Do something to where you're having a conversation and you're eating together. And also look for opportunities to serve them. <clears throat> Waffle House. No, okay, maybe I should have picked something else. I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're cleaning out their garage. You help them. You know, um, Dave Rivera was working on pouring some concrete. I think he was doing a driveway. And Corey Holton, who lives around the corner, saw him working there by himself doing the job. And he started helping him. Next thing you know, Dave and Corey are friends. The next thing you know, they get the idea that these two churches should merge. And here we are. That's how all that started. Because someone saw someone, served them, and helped them. And then the, the final S is share your story and how that fits into God's story. So begin with prayer, listen carefully, eat together, serve them, and then share your story with them.